In this short tutorial, we'll be discussing hemiacetals and acetals. The question reads, identify each of the following as such. We'll start with A. Let's take a look at the carbon that is bonded to an alkoxy group. This is an alkoxy group where you have carbon bonded to oxygen, and the oxygen is subsequently bonded to another carbon chain, in this case being methyl. So this right here is the alkoxy group as shown. And the carbon is also bonded to a hydroxyl. Because it's only bonded to one alkoxy group, and the other part being a hydroxyl, this is a hemiacetal molecule. So this, I'll write down HA for hemiacetal. For question B, you have this carbon being bonded to two alkoxy groups, one here and one here. Because it's bonded to two alkoxy groups, we call this an acetal. In question C, this carbon once again is bonded to a hydroxyl right there and an alkoxy group containing this time two carbons. Once again, just like in A, this is a hemiacetal. Moving on to question two, from the following descriptions, identify the compound as hemiacetal or an acetal. In question A, a molecule that contains a carbon atom attached to a hydroxyl group and an ethoxy group. Interestingly, this alkoxy group right here is actually called ethoxy, and it describes exactly what was mentioned here. So by definition, that's hemiacetal. For B, a molecule that consists of a carbon atom attached to two ethoxy groups, that should be an acetal. In question three, Draw the condensed structural formulas for the hemiacetal and acetal formed when methanol adds to propanol. Let's draw what methanol looks like. Meth suggests that it's one carbon and it's attached to OH because it's an alcohol, it ends with OL. So we have COH and three other hydrogens bonded to the carbon. It's added to propanol Whenever you have AL at the end, it's an aldehyde. The prefix prop means that it's three carbons. So C, C, and C. This has three hydrogens. This one has two. And given that we are dealing with an aldehyde, we have a carbonyl group on this carbon. And it's bonded to a hydrogen. Moving forward, I want to organize my work, so I'll rewrite these. Now, to form the hemiacetal, the hydrogen from the methanol adds to the oxygen of the carbonyl group to form a new hydroxyl group. So moving forward, this double bond will become a single bond, and it will gain a hydrogen, and the rest of the molecule, so that takes care of that, and the rest of the molecule gets bonded to this carbon, where we have O, CH3. That right there is the alkoxy group, and that's the OH, so we have a hemiacetal. To form the acetal, a second methyl is added to this mix. Notice that I've rewritten the molecule here, just so that we can show the progression. Now as I mentioned, a second methanol is added, CH3OH, this is to form the acetal. And the acetal forms when the second molecule of methanol adds to the OH, where we lose the hydrogen here, and we end up with CH3. That takes care of this part, and this hydrogen, and this OH come together to form water as a byproduct. So the molecule should look like this after all is done forming the acetal. If you'd like to see the answer to question number four, make sure that you watch part two of the series where we cover its solution.